is going on guys and welcome back to another video so I have not been fishing in a while the weather here in Texas has been too hot but today I'm heading down to the marina to go do some dock fishing I just went and picked up two dozen minnows and today I'm kind of just testing the waters and seeing how the fishing is hopefully we can get some bites uh, the past few days has been cooler so uh, the weather starting to cool down once the weather really cools down I'm gonna go fishing every single day so that is gonna be awesome I cannot wait for that but like I said today I'm just testing the waters so let's go down to the docks and go do some fishing it is Sunday Labor Day weekend I was expecting it to be packed but uh, I was sitting at home with literally nothing to do and I was like man let's just go fishing so that is what I came to do Okay, so it is a few days later. I did not catch any fish last time, but we got a massive cold front. Um, if you're in America, I'm sure you dealt with it too. It's all over the US, but the first two days it was way too windy to do anything. But today, it's a little warmer and the wind isn't too bad. It's still very windy outside for sure, but uh, it's not as bad. So today, I'm gonna go out in the cold and try to do some fishing. I just got two dozen minnows and some worms and I'm gonna go out here on these docks. So I'm hoping that uh, this cold front will bring in some fish. I've not caught fish in a while, so let's see what I can do. So I'm actually not the only person out here on these docks. There's actually one more person out here. I thought I was the only crazy one that would come out here in the cold and the wind, but I guess not. Anyways, I got some minnows and some worms. I'm gonna drop down two poles with minnows and then this small little baby rod with some worms. And hopefully we can get some bites. Gonna have a pole in this corner over there and then one right here we should do pretty good hopefully i usually fish over there but i'm gonna give that guy his space it's a little cold but it's gonna be a good day let's get this last pole in the water and then we can get the chair out and relax so i'm gonna go ahead and put we'll do two worms on this pole oh yeah worms baby we got a dozen worms for today. I just washed my hands off in the water and I was expecting it to be freezing, but the water temp is still warm. I forgot we're just in a cold front, not winter. Let's catch some fish. <laughs> it's a carp but hey i'll take it <laughs> god the water's so warm i'm not used to it it feels like it should be five degrees oh, first fish small little carp not what we're going after but hey still fun all right first fish of the day little carp let's go ahead and release this guy thank you buddy didn't get skunked and still have my worms let's drop this back down and catch some more Got a comment saying to never leave my poles like this and i fished all spring long catching hundreds of fish just like this and i never had a problem no rods ever broke never lost a rod so i really don't understand that comment but i guess someone must have broke their rod it's never happened to me i guess i'll learn when it happens to me right oh my god missed it i don't see how it's like a small bluegill. It's on. It has to be on. That must be like a small bluegill or something. Well, I was getting bites. Set the hook. They got another bite. Reeled in and uh, wasn't a fish. That was definitely weird, but uh, we'll drop it back down and see if we can get some more bites. Fish on. Fish on. Okay. That was quick. No, did it get off? Dang it. All right, I'm gonna drop this smaller hook, a smaller 
piece of worm down right here next to this pole because this pole keeps getting hit by something and if it is a bluegill they can take it better already are you kidding me that has to be a bluegill there's no bluegill oh, i got two two hits same time yeah that was way too quick bluegill yep called it that guy caught on quick that was like 10 seconds maybe definitely not what i'm after but hey it's still a fish right <laughs> see ya buddy you're fine, swim off. There he goes. No way, come on. That has to be on. Just got a bite on the minnows. The line was swimming, but it definitely got off. Dang it. Oh, big fish on. Big fish on. About six pound line on this one too, gotta be careful. Pole. Maybe it's not that big, but it's definitely in that pole. Oh, bass. <laughs> That's why it bent that pole. Not a bad sized bass. I mean, it's small, but oh man, that thing's been tore up too. That guy's hungry. Caught that on a minnow. Gone a jig. But a uh, little bass. Not too bad. I'll take it. Oh yeah, see ya buddy. When I first came back and fished during winter, this is how I was catching the walleye. On a jig and a minnow. I don't know why, but for me it just works in the cold weather. Not even jigging either, just dropping it down and that's that. Three species down, three to go. Look at the baby deer, it's so cute. Oh, they hear me. Guys, I'm like 20 feet away from these deer. That is freaking awesome. Usually there's not much deer down here, but it's a cold day, there's not much people here, so this family of deer came down. They're eating some trees right by the dock. Here is the dock, here is where I am, and they're just right there. Pretty awesome. Guys, check this out. I just reeled in my bait and something bit the head off of my minnow. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> but other than that, I got no bites. So I'm gonna try moving down a little bit more. We'll try over here now. Whoa, what is that? Is that a fish on that string? Why would people do that and leave it there? So there's a string right here. What's a big bluegill? Jesus. Still, oh, it's peeing. It's peeing on me. Still alive. Oh, that, that's a stringer. Why would they leave it? Probably forgot about it. I'm gonna cut that and let this guy go. and forgot it was there but I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. You're free buddy. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's a piece of worm on there. There's a worm and a minnow. I guess the minnow got off and this little sunfish went for the worm. See ya, buddy.
Worm just got hit. Please be on. Ah. Oh. You got hit hard. <sighs> Dang it, to miss that one. They got hit so hard. Better check the bait. Dang it. I'm actually surprised I've gotten this many bites. I've been trying to fish here lately, like a lot. Well, I've stopped the last two weeks because I just wasn't having any luck. But before that, I was going a lot and not getting any bites. The only fish I've caught in that time I went fishing was this one catfish at Medi Park. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I just got dropped off here at Medi Park. Literally dropped off on the side of the street. I got two poles, a chair, my all my tackle, and two dozen worms here. My mom has an appointment today, so uh, I said, hey, drop me off at Medi Park. I'll do some fishing while you have your appointment. So, we just traveled an hour to get here to Amarillo, Texas. I'm at Medi Park. I'm about to walk across the lake to my favorite spot, which is over there. So I'm gonna grab all of my gear. And we have one hour to catch as many catfish as possible. Let's see what we can do today. Something's on fire right there. That's a medical district, so a bunch of hospitals, buildings, stuff like that. Looks like a pretty gnarly fire. It's all black. Go ahead and get this first pull out there. Oh yeah, right in the middle, perfect. All right, so my barber just disappeared. It's still under. Fish on, fish on baby, yes. First fish of the day. We'll just drag them in. <laughs> That's not too big, Never mind. All right. That's decent, I guess. Get up here. About time. It has been like 30 minutes. Nice little catfish. Not too big, but pretty. Thank you, buddy. Did not get skunked. Getting skunked is the worst. There she is. First catfish of the day. Not too bad. Let's let this guy go. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for not letting me get skunked. You're the man. Now you're free. See ya, buddy. Not too big. I've definitely seen some catfish probably twice that size swimming around here right in front of me. But those guys would not bite. But first fish of the day did not get skunked. Well, it is now 1 o'clock and my time is up. We caught one catfish in one hour. Not good at all, but at least we didn't get skunked. Don't adjust your computer screens. That is a real dinosaur in front of me. You're not just seeing things. So uh, to be getting these bites, I'm pretty stoked. Of course, there was a cold front that uh, came in the last few days, cooled things down a little bit. And I'm guessing that's why they're biting. I'm not really sure, but hey, I'll take it. Anything is better than nothing, so I will take it. I think I'm about to switch docks. No one's over there now, so I think it's time. The bites have turned off. The water is getting shallow. They had to add more deck to this dock. Alright, I got a bite on the worm. Well, I just put the worm on. Maybe it's the minnow, but we'll find out. Oh, it feels... Well, it's fighting hard. Jeez. Come on. It's not that big. One thing I always... Oh, yeah, catfish. One thing I always say is it's a big fish. When I should just say it's fighting hard. It's not a very big fish, but it fought pretty hard. All right, catfish on the worm. Is my minnow still on? Nope, minnow is off. 
All right, so there is the fourth species off of a worm. Small little catfish. Wish it was a lot bigger, but it's not. Oh well, still better than nothing. I'll take it. See you, buddy. And she's gone. That was quick. That's probably like 10 minutes in the water with the worm. And we got the first catfish. So now we just need a crappie and a walleye. All right, so these minnows aren't doing nothing in the deep water, so I'm gonna go a little bit shallower and see what we can catch. That's uh, risky. Definitely we'll get some comments about that, but uh, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I don't wanna see any comments how I left this pole in this boat cleat. <laughs> oh, it's moving. They're freaking out down there. Already? That'd be awesome if it was that quick. All right, we got a fish on. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's on. Fish on the small pole, and it didn't take it in the water. All right, let's see what we got. It feels small. Hopefully, it's not a bluegill. Might be a crappie. Crappie. Dang, that's a decent-sized crappie. Holy crap. For not catching any crappie at all, that is a great-sized crappie. Let's see how big that is. Wow, I have a measuring sticker on this rod here. All goes there. Well, it's just 10 and 3 quarter, but pretty long crappie. Not too bad. So, there is the fifth species of the day. Now we just need to catch a walleye. Walleye, walleye, walleye. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Good. Not a bad size crappie for the time of year, I guess I should say. You free, buddy. You free. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Go down. Go down, buddy. <laughs> Go down. Oh, man. Almost. He almost got down. All right, I got the crappie on a stringer. I'm going to set him in the water, and as soon as he comes back, if he comes back, I will release him. But if he just doesn't ever try to come back, then I'll take him home and keep him. Hopefully it starts to try, because didn't plan on taking any fish home today, but I don't mind if I do, I guess. I guess I can make some crappie tacos later. Never threw a worm on a jig. Leave a comment below if y'all have thrown a worm on a jig. Worm on a jig. I feel like people fish artificial worms on jigs. So I'm sure people do this. I just never have. Alright, so I'm getting hits now on this jig with the worm. I got two solid hits. Just waiting for it to take it. So if the next fish I catch is a walleye, that will mean I caught every single species back to back, which is pretty crazy. Well, actually, no, it won't be because I caught that one extra bluegill, but still pretty impressive. I'm going to take it, but I do not see a walleye biting today. I just really don't. I don't know why, but hopefully it does because I do want to complete this challenge. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to count you accountable. All right, fish on. This is the jig with the worm. I got six pound test line, so my drag is pretty loose. Ah, oh, catfish. Expected. I expected on the worm, but hey. There goes the uh, all the species in a row. Tiny little guy. Let's see you, buddy. Well, I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes, no bites, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy home as well, and we'll go home and make some crappie tacos. So here are the two fillets from the crappie. I'm going to go ahead and cook it up. I'm going to start out with some butter on a pan. Slap your mama seasoning, of course. On the crappie fillets. Seasoning 
Okay. All right, so I just made this delicious looking taco. I went ahead and put more ranch on there. I'm a huge fan of ranch, but that is going to be amazing. Although I didn't catch very many big fish today, I'm just happy I caught something. The last month I have not caught any fish, so today it felt great to take advantage of the cold front we got and go do some fishing. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy this taco and watch Family Guy, but I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.